Baby is coming any day, so I want to get things ready and set up. And... A West Fargo expecting mother says something just didn't feel right when looking to rent a new home to raise her child. Good evening and thanks for joining us. On top of the stress of looking for a new place to live, Stephanie Sherritt learned that a house she was looking at on Craigslist started to concern her. Valley News Team's Krista Baim explains the scam she narrowly escaped and what you can look for to avoid becoming victim of a rent-a-house scam. Rent and stuff? $895 a month to rent a house. And I was like, it's a little bit above our price range. But when the Craigslist ad for the rental dropped to $500, it looked good for Stephanie Sherritt. So she looked into it. I emailed the person or whatever and I said, I'm interested. You know, if there's any way I can go see the house or, you know, kind of talk more about it. Someone emailed her back, claiming to be a reverend out of the country. And he asked for a $500 deposit before sending her the keys. A red flag to the expecting mother. How he said we couldn't go and see inside the house. So she drove by, noticed a for sale sign, and called the realtor, only to learn they didn't know the man who posted online. A problem realtors see on a weekly basis and work to clean up on the internet. But there are steps you can take before becoming victim to a good looking renter's deal. I encourage you to meet a person first before you send them money. Uh, make sure you talk to them on the phone. Maybe get a referral from a previous renter uh, that can provide information as far as how they are as a landlord or a property manager. If you're looking to buy, Boche says stick to an agent. But either way, if you choose online, look closely at what's included. Someone who's really trying to market their property is going to provide photos and more information, usually an email address or a phone number for you to communicate with. Signed, Stephanie says, we're all there. There was some pictures on Craigslist of the inside, and then a few days ago I got a realtor app on my phone, and it's the same house, but it's different pictures. A problem she caught before losing money as she prepares to raise her child in a different home. Krista Baim, Valley News Live. Now, Stephanie's baby is due on Thursday, and she says they have found a place to live that she didn't find on Craigslist.